minutes. So without further ado, let's pull up that thing in there. The finalized button is looking rather clickable. And let's send it. Welcome to the new season as well and not just that welcome to the video where we are going to finish Building the minivan quite a jam-packed episode in store for y'all today Hopefully y'all have an absolutely fake freaking fantastic day that only keeps on getting better from here on out So without further ado, we got a lot to get into. Let's get into it As you can see season 28 has come to a close We are rocking the outfit that we got from the end of it We're also gonna go ahead and I mean while we're at it We also got a matching bike that we gotta go ahead and paint up season 29 Obviously that means has begun, but that's not even the update that I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen An update with one of the most long requested features of of last day on earth boom let's go ahead and repaint that see how fly we're looking on this i feel like the answer is gonna be pretty fly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i could car pretty freaking fly but an update has just come out that has added something that we have been waiting ages for i literally still get comments asking about this feature and it's finally here and not just that something that i thought was gone from the game that would never freaking actually come to fruition has just been teased Boom! So this new update that y'all can get from the Play Store, from the App Store, yada, 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 long story short, adds in one major feature. Let's start with one of the most useful innovations, Kafir ID. The service is already available and designed to synchronize your progress between devices. Whether you play on iOS and Android platforms like Hawaii, uh, Samsung, and Amazon devices, your progress will be stored in one place. We'd like to emphasize that this doesn't imply giving up your existing Google Play or App Store accounts, but simply combining them in our service for further use. What's so important about that? Kafir ID gives access to the much-awaited feature that enables you to transfer your account to another operating system on your own. So finally, if you're playing on iOS and you got a new Android phone, or if you used to play on Android and just got, it just moved over to iPhone, you will finally, with Kafir ID, be able to actually transfer your progress in between, or even play on both at the same time by the sounds of it. That's right. If you've changed the phone, you no longer need to contact the support service and wait for your turn to have your progress transferred from iOS to Android and vice versa. However, and this is where I'm talking about the big things that are being hinted at in a feature that like was teased years ago and nothing really ever came from it and now is kind of resurfacing that's not the most important thing Kafir ID could offer players we're still working on the core functionality it was designed for the details of which we'll announce a little bit later for now we can only hint that some of you have been waiting for this news since last day on earth just came out and those who want to shoot zombies on a bigger screen will be especially happy that is right ladies and gentlemen they are teasing none other than last day on earth with official support on PC or on uh, on freaking like xbox on playstation they're pretty much teasing being able to play this on consoles and or like a legitimate pc version and dude that is not just awesome because i that, that that's a lot of development work that goes into creating a whole new version that is supported and supportable on these different consoles and obviously it's gonna be so cool to be able to actually just like play with a controller kick back relax on the couch like there's just a different vibe you know to be able to play on an xbox or on a playstation or you know something like that but not just that, the fact that they have kind of like confirmed this port that is going to be coming to consoles also makes me think that Last Day on Earth is potentially going to be ramping up how much they care about Last Day on Earth, if that makes sense. Like, you know, lately the updates have been a little bit slow. Last few updates have been picking up a little bit, especially with, you know, the whole return of none other than the acts and like, I, not the return, but the, the whole new story system over here, right? With the ability to play different acts and do like a linear freaking mission and stuff like that. Very cool cool stuff and obviously you know the last few updates have definitely kind of picked up the pace but before that for like the past year or so you know the the update velocity has kind of slowed down a little bit and maybe that's why maybe they've been working on this major thing behind the scenes and that is actually a really really big just like I, I don't know man like if they spent all of this time to port last day on earth over to consoles and to be able to play on the big screen to expose last day on earth to a whole new audience that also makes me think that they are about to kind of step it up a gear when it comes to development work for Last Day on Earth, which has me absolutely thrilled because I think I could agree. And I think y'all could agree with me when I speak. We all want more updates coming to the game. So there y'all have it. 
the new update that y'all can go ahead and download from the store and kind of the biggest things that it does entail and dude i am so excited to share our last hour on console that's a whole diff that's a whole different story i can get hype about right as y'all can see here also season 28 over season 29 has begun let's go ahead and jump into season 29 they're gonna go and build the minivan also while we're at it dude why don't we go ahead and i, I think we might want to do a few little raids today too because i'm kind of feeling in a raidy type mood but before we do that, did want to let y'all know really quickly that you can go ahead and download Raid Shadow Legends for free at that link at the very tippity top of the description. If you go ahead and complete the tutorial, only takes about five to ten minutes. It seriously helps the channel out a ton. This video is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, but they did respond to the stream that we did this past Friday. By the way, if you guys don't know, we are live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time over at twitch.tv slash stars. I played some last downer, so they sponsored the second half of the stream. We played some last downer, then transitioned into some raid afterwards. And we were checking out this awesome, incredible event that's going on right now. We're pretty much if you log in for seven days you can get this incredible legendary ultimate death knight champion i just finally got him i'm gonna be showing him off a little bit i think maybe just like at the end of uh what you might call uh the next stream if y'all want to go in and see him in action too just because i brought him up last week but you know that i had to log in for seven days to actually unlock him and i finally unlocked him so i do want to give a little bit of closure to some of those y'all who do tune into the stream so like i said we'll probably do a little little a little clip a little section at the end of the stream for that but at the end of the day the, the stream's still gonna be last day on earth like it always is but I digress. I just got him, and he's kind of mad freaking OP and absolutely wrecking everything the game's been throwing at me so far since I've got him. And this is for free. I did not have to spend a dime to get my hands on this legendary ultimate death knight. So yeah, if y'all download the game from the link at the top of the description and complete the tutorial, only takes about five to ten minutes. It seriously, does help the channel out a ton. And once you complete the tutorial, you can also start gaining progress towards unlocking the legendary ultimate death knight, which trust me when I say... You want to unlock this dude. Not to mention, once you do complete the tutorial, you can also go ahead and use code GOODNIGHT in the menu to pretty much get a bunch of goodies and loot that's gonna help you get a huge head start in the game, help you level up your champions and overall progress through the game even better. Just wanna make sure y'all are aware of that stuff because there's a cool promo going on with that. This video isn't sponsored by Raid, but they sponsor the stream. So water spread the good word. Wanted to let y'all know if anyone was thinking about hopping into the game. Now is a pretty freaking cool time to do so, but okay. With that said and done, we've got a new season over here. I will be getting the premium for this, don't you worry. Let's see some of the cooler prizes we've got. Yo, a freaking, what is this, like a heist bag over here for a backpack? Not gonna lie, with all that money in the back, kind of one of the cooler backpacks I think I've seen so far in the game. Let's continue progressing and seeing what kind of sticks out to me out of all this stuff that we are seeing. And so far, I mean, on the free-to-play side, nothing too crazy. How are the, but ooh, the packs for season 29, not too bad. Every six, you get guaranteed full set of Kevlar, a Granata Launcher, and the minigun and of course there's some extremely rare chances at steel carbon composites and factory parts all very welcome sites for us to behold as we continue scrolling though not gonna lie the free to play side a little bit on the disappointing side outside of these packs for season 29 which are looking freaking cool at level 30 we get a new thing over here for the work table is that where we're gonna be bringing the money bag to our work table is this where we plan out the heist where we fill the bag with the money maybe i don't know but that's actually a really cool table and i do want to get that to deck out my basement because that would be kind of perfect for none other than uh what's None other than my uh, bed, bedroom, living room type room I got going on at my base, you know? Anyways, shotgun at 30, which is kind of nice. We get the gas cylinder at 34, which is also pretty nifty. We continue working our way through there, yada, yada, yada. Nothing too unique standing out so far. Appears to be pretty standard in terms of the prizes and loot that we can get until level 60, where we get our hands on the cash crush, which appears to be some sort of a clown with a ton. What is that? Explosives on the pocket and all these various things like they're ready to do a heist. Not gonna lie. Give me, give it to me freaking, uh, whatchamacall. Give it to me Batman vibes from the Dark Knight a little bit with that whole, like, opening scene with the Joker, you know, ro robbing the bank. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. And this is honestly, this may or may not be kind of like my favorite outfit so far. I absolutely need this, like, immediately with the backpack. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to get this immediately because that looks freaking dope. But there y'all have it, ladies and gentlemen, season 29 in a little bit of a nutshell. Enough of that. Let's make our way to the gas station. Let's get the final spark plug we need. To finish building the minivan, let's finish Act 2, Chapter 1. Let's claim, oh, speaking of outfits, let's claim the mechanic outfit, which is the second outfit to ever come with a perk associated with it as well. And we'll see what that is all about. And uh, we, got, we got a lot of fun 
time's coming. Long story short, but yeah, dude, I'm actually really loving this outfit that we got from the end of season 28. Fits perfectly with this backpack we got earlier on throughout our adventures and just like, I love kind of like the hints of yellow, just overall very sleek and just kind of like, you know, like spec ops feel that we got going on. Looking pretty cash money, if you ask me. We're also looking pretty hungry, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of that. And then let's make our way over here. But over and out there is an absolutely fan freaking testing day of the most basic variety that only keeps on getting better and from here on out. Whether that be for the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers and diddly do. That's exactly what that joy do do because nothing else bring a smile to my face like knowing that hopefully I might be able to bring one to yours in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Yo, speaking of joy, speaking of awesome stuff like that, you know what? I also forgot to mention that I think y'all might be interested in. Well, it... it it's also just, I, I didn't explicitly mention this, but in the patch notes before the update that they just dropped, they did also at the top say, hey, there's survivors. Many of you have completed or are close to completing all construction works on our new base. Meanwhile, the development of the next major update for the settlement is well underway. So for now, we'd like to share with you some other important things we're working on. So there's a, j just an update, you know, from the devs saying like, hey, we're still alive and we're still working on the update. Don't you worry. And okay, I was about to say, dude, where are all the enemies? Because I wasn't seeing any, but then I am seeing one over here. Let's go out and swap into a little bit of a sneaky dicky attack skill because I'd like to get all sneaky dicky with it and take out the fast biter and one fell swoop beautiful and let's progress through here and loot whatever we possibly can anything good coming our way eh, a little bit of jerky i'll go ahead and take that thank you very kindly we do have someone or a few opportunities up here to go ahead and hopefully get some sneak attacks off on some chunkier enemies like the floater blower hello good sir let's hit you with a slow-mo invade that over there and get back to slice it and dice it and chopping you up like the master sushi chef that i am what a fast better i ain't scared of you although i did you did manage to get one hit off on me that's all right it happens let's go and sneak attack you before you notice that i am lurking and let's go and do a little bit more damage got to keep an eye out because whenever these alarms do go off there's always a possibility that there are going to be enemies running up on us. We appear to be doing pretty all right for now, though, which is good. Let's go ahead and loot up the other side. I might be able to avoid attacking that guy over there. Don't know how he didn't hear the alarms on this thing going off. And we got a few things over there. I'm not going to pick them up unless, like, they really stand out to me. Obviously, if y'all are looting the highway location, if something stands out to you, loot it up. Pick it up. All right. But some of this stuff, I have so much of back in my base that, like, I'm not too uh, urgent about doing that. What a toxic spinner. Where did you come from? You got a freaking nowhere, you did. And uh, whatchamacallit. All right, we have a few zombies over here that we might want to clear. Can I get a sneak attack off on you? No, 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 no. All right, there we go. Which book off? I wanted to make sure that he noticed me while we were out of range of the Florida bloater, so we can get a nice sneak attack off on you and hopefully take you out uh, pretty effectively with just a little bit of the melee. Two pistol drizzles, bada bing, bada boom. You're done, my friend. And the moment of truth, the chest. They can have what we want. They just they can have the tenth and final spark plug for the minivan. Big money, no way, 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 me. Boom! Shaka like a boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Who here is ready? to complete the minivan and to complete act two chapter one i am i know that i am so let's go ahead and do exactly that a little uh, and eat up a little bit of a jerky too while we are at it uh what you recall and uh yeah really quick though there's like one more chest over here that i definitely want to loot up that one is going to be right over here usually has some bauxite not gonna lie dude bauxite kind of annoying to come across sometimes and the fact that the, i've dude honestly not even capping here bro all right okay they literally of course the one time i try to make an example of it there's no bauxite in there but not even capping the highway is kind of like become one of my favorite places to get bauxite because like the enemies and the kind of level of difficulty of the highway location once you unlock it through act two chapter one is really not that ridiculous but the fact that you get a steady supply of bauxite some first aid kits here and there and i mean realistically speaking dude there's so many of these enemies like if you have just like a decent weapon and you can get sneak attacks off on like you don't really need to do much of a battle with much of these dudes which is pretty 10 out of 10 especially for an opportunity at bauxite that hopefully these bags over here will have for us Yeet! let's go and finish off that protector you did the worst job of protecting that man i would not hire him as my security okay he was not doing too hot wow dude of course the one time i bring up freaking oh this is a great place to get bauxite we get no bauxite am i surprised uh, not even dude not even surprised but uh okie dokie we got some sludge over here and a corner over there and then this area over there is the back at the beginning of the map if we exit through here we will go back into the motel location but if you exit through one of the sides it will actually just teleport you straight to the global map which is kind of the place we prefer going to because this is gonna be the place ladies and gentlemen where we can get our hands or i should say our legs to the location 
Although, I guess our hands, too. We want to bring all of our body parts to the location, yeah? We are going to be heading to the settlement. Also, as you can see, I have a grudge today. I want to get revenge on Razvan. He kind of attacked me. Not very cool of him. I will destroy him. Don't worry about it. But for now, we are heading to the settlement. And we are preparing for none other than the finale of Act 2, Chapter 1. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that has been in the works for a while, man. Like, since this update came out, what's it been? Like, a, somewhere from one to two months out, dude. I'm gonna be honest, man. I got that goldfish memory. I don't even remember what I had for lunch today. So, I don't even, I can't even tell you how long this has been going for. But it feels like it's been about one to two months or so. And now, it's finally coming to a conclusion. It won't start without a spark plug. Maybe there's some of the gas station. Oh, buddy. There are some indeed. The last spark plug you need, my friend. I have got it! So without further ado, let's pull up that thing in there. The finalized button is looking rather clickable. And let's send it! Boom! Look at that. Look at how perfect this minivan is all of a sudden looking. I gotta get the freaking... Hold up, hold up, hold up. While we do the rest of this stuff, I gotta make sure that that look around skill freaking regenerates a little bit. Because I want to see this thing in all of its glory. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fully completed settlement. Every building inside of the settlements, the wall, the garage, the minivan, the barracks, the headquarters are all complete. Let's talk to Connor and let's see what he's got for us. We fixed the car. Soon, it's gonna be on the go. We've done a good job. Yes, we have, you saved my life three times. I did, I don't even remember. It's been that long. All we need now is to wait for my friends. I'm sure they're already coming. Your friends, you say? So there are more people? Cause yeah, that, that to me is what is being teased. We've already seen some teasers that we've broken down through some of the past episodes about what the next update and kind of next chapters are going to contain. But the fact that at the end of this chapter, because we have just completed act two, chapter one, officially, I'll go ahead and claim that. Thank you very kindly. Uh, now that this is done and we are waiting for the building out, and so many of the teasers we've seen have to do with A, the ability to like hire mercenaries or bring people into our settlement, and B, actually build up our settlement. Because if you guys don't know, long story short, so far the settlement, I mean, this is where all the buildings are, right? On this side of the map. Um, if you just, I'm gonna go ahead and just hop on my motorcycle here. Uh, there's still a lot of map left. And we have seen teasers of new workbenches that have to do with the settlement that are gonna pertain uh, to the settlement and also we've seen one of those workbenches actually literally placed down on like wooden like wooden floors kind of like we would have over here at like our normal base so it seems like pretty much half of the settlement is kind of like all these pre-built buildings that probably will play some sort of role or in a forthcoming update will actually you know we'll be able to interact with in some way shape form or fashion and then the other half of the base to me seems like we'll actually be able to build like a normal base like we built our initial base up but the other half over here is going to be off limits on building but this half over here we'll be able to build on that's kind of the way things seem to be shaping up we just got that teaser from finishing up this chapter that whatchamacall he's got friends coming of some sort that he's waiting on and we've literally seen teasers as well of you know like almost like being able to hire like settlers or bring settlers into our settlement and whether they'd be able to they're able to maybe come out with us on adventures you know, take down some enemies, kind of similar to mercenaries back in the day, or whether they'll just be able to kind of like help us defend in some sort of new like settlement defense feature, whatever it is. It does appear like those are going to play a big part of things, then also, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, building things out. And that's why I think the next update, I've broken this down a lot more in depth in the last few episodes, so be sure y'all go ahead and check those out. Long story short, as we know, right, the name of this chapter, or whatchamacallit, the name of the next chapter is called Building Out. Chapter 1, Foundation, the foundational buildings we've built. Chapter 2, building out from the foundation into the rest of the settlement. And then I can see also Chapter 3 being added in this next update or in a future update that kind of is more themed about recruiting people into our settlement. So I can see the next update being, you know, two new chapters. Chapter 2, building out the settlement. Chapter 3, recruiting people uh, for the settlement. And uh, I am very intrigued by all those possibilities, all the workbenches that we've seen, etc., etc. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, have it the completion and official building of none other than the minivan in all of its beauty and gosh darn is it beautiful we have officially completed our fourth vehicle 
of the game. I could not be happier. Also, dude, I love how this freaking motorcycle looks. It actually matches the skin so freaking well. But we're off because we have got some stuff to do. There's also the wrecked ship over here, which honestly, I'm always down to visit the wrecked ship. We'll, we'll go. We got some raids lined up. I'm going to line up those raids here in a second. But the ship is around, and I kind of want to go ahead and pay that thing a visit because, like, it's usually pretty easy to take down and, like... You can actually, like, if you're lucky, dude, you can get some really good stuff out of this. There's, like, what, 10, 10 walking zombies you gotta take down? I could just send their heads flying with a bit of a skull crusher action, which, you know what, is exactly what I'm planning on doing. Or, I gotta round them up and shotgun rain them. But it's been a while since we've uh, dished out some, uh, <coughs> shotgun rain. So, honestly, maybe we'll want to do, um, exactly that. I don't want to go at it exactly, dude. Go to the link in the top of the description or near the top of the description as well, because there's going to be multiple links today because of the, some of the raid stuff that I was talking about earlier. So, I think it's last start stuff. We are live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Hopefully, I do see y'all there because we are always having a ball, having a blast, playing last day on Earth every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't know the time that starts here on local times, on twitch.tv slash star set schedule, we'll be able to go in and help you out because time zones can definitely be confusing. I totally understand. That's also another link that you can head to. And without further ado, let's go to round these fellas up over here and spread a little bit of him. Shotgun rain! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And yay! Oh my goodness gracious! I thought I'd send his head flying. I did not think I would send that much stuff flying. Goodness, dude, that was just a lot of bodies. See what I'm saying, man? Shotgun rain is very fun. But anyways, the wreck ship over here really quickly. Earth Survivor, what's up? I got a free opening. Let's open it. If I'm lucky, I'll get something good. I like the oak. Let's go. But we got some shotgun rain. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. I just got a shotgun and five oak for taking down 13 zombies. 10 of them were freaking 40 health walking zombies. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Wrecked ship. It's not much, but it's always nice to go ahead and pay a visit. Now, let's go home and prepare for that raid. But like I was saying, hopefully I do see you over there over those, at those streams. They're always a fun time, always a blast. Love being able to kick off the weekend with some last down. It's pretty much for me on Friday, right after work. I hop on the stream. I start off the stream. We got the face cam on. We got the live chat rolling, making it a little bit of a unique experience compared to the videos. And also just extra last down earth action while you're at it. So if you guys like last down earth, if you guys just like me. A, I appreciate you. B, you will definitely appreciate the stream. So glad to see some of you folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, over there because it's always a ball and it's pretty cool because y'all can interact with the stream as it's going. Chat in the chat, chat with the community, and literally I, I can interact with y'all. Y'all can see my face as I'm interacting, as I'm reading your chats, as we're playing Last Down Earth together. Definitely makes for a fun time. Hopefully I do see y'all there. And uh, yeah, hopefully I do see y'all over at this raid that we've got to prepare for. And all right, I put some stuff away. I got some hatchets over here from the old pickup truck and you might be like, Star, it's not gonna be enough hatchets. Where are the explosives? Ah, well, good news, good news, everybody. Professor Farnsworth style. All right, due to all the season passes that we have lived through and all the events and all stuff like that, if we require things, I do have a little stash of high explosives and uh, iron hatchets in my inbox that I can retrieve from. So if you will be prepared, what is most important for us is to bring the silenced weaponry, a few hatchets here and there so you are prepared, an empty inventory, and an appetite. An appetite for loot. Ha, 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 ha. Let's go and raid Razvan over here. You dare raid me because this is a revenge raid. We were, we're tracking the footsteps, bro. I'm doing this hunter style. You know, I, I got the freaking bloodhounds on your trail, Razvan. And honestly, it's superstitious, but I always feel like revenge raids are better than normal raids. Again, superstitious. I might be completely wrong, but hopefully I am actually completely right because that'd be pretty cool if it's wrong we'll do another raid because i'm feeling very raidy today dude i want to get Ooh, i'm not seeing okay okay oh okay okay so i'm a little bit conflicted here because a this space actually looks pretty nicely protected so far oh we've got a hacker base baby let's go that is also a good sign star how do you know this guy's a hacker because that's illegal. You, you, the game literally does not allow you to place these things on the grass. That's illegal. All right, you can get arrested for that. That's a, that's a, that's a federal felony right there. And you know what? It's, it's me, and I'm here to enforce. And I'm enforcing by taking all of this guy's stuff. Obviously, we will be requiring some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing. Already... I can see inside of that corner that this little, uh, whatchamacallit, there's a wall right there 
which is a tiny bit concerning because that makes me think that this might be sectioned off into a few different sections. So it is going to be a matter of us being able to find the best section. Now, good news, everybody. After a little bit of Google foo, star, what do you mean Google foo? All right, so if y'all don't know, if you ever do come across a little thing known as a base raid and you're wondering where star, oh, where should I put my explosives? What wall should I break into? Pretty freaking cool. All right, to so make sure that you never waste your hard earned resources, just go on YouTube, type in LDOE and type in the name of the base. So in this case, I would go on YouTube and type in LDOE space Razvan. And you can actually see someone who has raided this base already. And if y'all don't know, if y'all are not familiar with raids, the layout of raids do not change for people. The way I'm raiding Razvan, it's going to be the exact same. So how is that possible? You, you will already have taken all of this stuff from him. How is this possiblemente? Long story short, you never actually raid someone's base. You're always raiding a copy of their base from a certain point in time. So long story short, all of these bases are pretty much copies of someone's base from like many years ago. And you're always raiding a copy, which means that, you know, a copy of the original. So if I raid, if I literally blow up every wall here, if you come across this base, you will not see every wall blown up. You know what I mean? So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Let's also go ahead and throw a little bit of high explosives over here without further ado. <laughs> oh, bada bing! Bada bing! Let's pop that puppy open into the one little room that is going to provide us happiness. Because if you guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do not know, that is the room with all of the chests for this base. Do I wish it was more? Yeah, of course. I always wanted to lose. But, eh, not too bad stuff over here, man. I would be taking some of this. The paint, too. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Could be better. Could be worse. Uh, I do like the truck wheels, especially now that we actually had to, I, I had to kind of dip into my stockpile to build up the freaking zombie truck with those. Uh, the minivan or whatever. Uh, pretty nice to replenish that a little bit. Let's open up the next one. Let's go! And that! is where some of the better stuff lies because steel plates are some of the best loot you can possibly get your hands on from a raid of, besides of course you know i mean the best raid ever uh just a lot of guns man just a lot of guns or a lot of medical supplies or a lot of swat armor that's kind of like my trifecta dude my three favorite things to find in raids my favorite raid of course those coming home with literally hey it's the spear that i brought I, i'm taking that back booty sticking oh right but uh no no it's, it's always good to come across a base with let's go i'll take some of this stuff though that's not too shabby and we're probably gonna have a few fast biters over actually we know what we're gonna do if i never mind i'm getting very very stuck which is not good you know what we're gonna do we're gonna run around because if y'all are unaware there are spikes surrounding this base and long story short if you run around bases filled with spikes you can kind of sort of just get the zombies to uh run into the spikes and die why is that awesome well Instead of shooting the zombies with my hard-earned bullets, the spikes are stabbing the zombies. You know what? Stabbing doesn't involve bullets. You know why that's nice? Because I'm not using them. The base is doing my fighting for me, which is a lovely sight to behold. All you gotta do is run around. Once it gets close, we can see, look at that. He had 10 health and then he dropped dead. And I did not have to do, um, how does one say, much of anything, really. That was uh, pretty nice in terms of taking down all the zombies, so I'm pretty stoked about that and then we can make our way back to the chest and grab the rest of what we are looking for and then probably make our way towards another base because i am not satisfied with what i'm seeing i expect more out of this type of base also the good thing about revenge raids is that since you did not get this as a raid aside from the raiders they're not going to collect attacks on this Ooh, a zulu card i like that uh they're not going to collect attacks on this so it's kind of nice because whatever you grab you don't have to worry about then later paying back the raiders a cut of your share or like you know their share this is revenge, baby. And revenge is a, a dish best served for one. Just me, all right? This is not a group setting. I'm not buying, I'm not buying dishes, entrees, appetizers, whatever you, freak, whatever you freaking want. I'm not buying that for the Raiders, all right? I'm on a solo date. It's a Friday night. Okay, maybe that, maybe that doesn't sound so great, but you know what I mean? The Raiders are not invited because they suck. And boom. Razvan, thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad I can grab my stuff back and also some more because more stuff is always good but there ladies and gentlemen boys and girls do have it a little a little dish known as justice served to razvan now the dessert a little dish known as not justice because i'm going to actively go seek out a raid the raiders will ask for a share eventually i'll take care of that when the time comes and then we'll raid them and hopefully find lots of guns because jackpot raids are the best and i would love a raid that i go home with like 50 guns with be pretty cool also yo am i tweaking here or like do i only hear background music like 
right here. And then I move here and the background music's gone. But, there, but there's background music everywhere else. Am I tweaking? And then I move away. And it's silence. Bro, what is happening? All right, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Head hokey dokey, the time has come for a task from the Raiders. Hello, Raiders. How are you doing? It's so quiet, dude. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, they got some tasks for us. I'm just going to go ahead and skip these. Actually, I'll skip some of them. I'll actually grab five of those hatchets because I definitely do have five of those that I can literally just go ahead and grab really quickly. Boom! They've been grabbed. And as you can see, that quest is complete. Star, er, my god. Yeah, you know, listen, guys. I know you may be like, Star, you just dropped so much coin. Listen, I don't mind if I got to sprinkle a little bit of coin on the game here and there. All right? Because if that means that we can do more raids and have more fun and I can make more entertaining videos for y'all, I am more than happy to do exactly that. You know, because I'm always trying whatever I can to hopefully bring a smile to y'all face in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So make sure y'all are subscribed with that notification bell hits to stay in the loop with everything last day on Earth related and also just all the fun that we have along the way. But also because whenever new updates do come out, we try to cover them absolutely ASAP. But if there's new updates coming in the future, we try to cover all the news tidbits and teasers about that stuff as it's coming up as well. And long story short, just make sure that y'all are in the loop and also whatever new things do come out i try to freaking just go freaking yolo and uh just just go just dive head first into it even if that means i die i am the guinea pig for our entire community all right if there's some sort of new boss that absolutely obliterates you if you don't do things a certain way i will be the one getting obliterated so then y'all can watch my videos and be like yo star did this and died let's not do this and i'll be like yes use me for knowledge in long story short, it's 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 kind of like the perfect dealio because not only can hopefully y'all be entertained, but also hopefully be informed and be able to do stuff uh, better, you know, and hopefully be able to knock out raids better and hopefully be able to knock out updates better and you know battle new bosses and grab loot from the best places and yo yo yo. This base is looking a little bit empty, bro. There's not a lot going on here. There is a little, little, little lamb, not the lamb, but that little section over there that appears to be encased in stone. Yeah. And I don't think that there are gonna be any ways. I'm gonna check, because here's the thing. Whenever, you're doing, whenever you are doing a raid, right? You can always look around a little bit. And this icon you see in the bottom right-hand corner will tell you what it takes to break the wall. Now, nah, here's the thing. If you see an icon that does not look like dynamite, especially around here, there might be a secret little wall. There there was not a wall. You know what there was? Um that this this, this this I mean there is wall. It's not it's not a wooden wall. I just I just broke the workbench on the other side of the wooden wall. Okay, that's awkward. Well, you know what this means? Great excuse to bring out the explosives! Like a gentleman, of course, because we're gonna knock on the front door. <laughs> knock knock anyone home? Nope, okay, I'll just go ahead and let myself in. Thank you very kindly, and woo! We got our hands on some chests. Hopefully the chests got some good stuff inside of them. That's all we can really hope for, right? We got about seven chests over here. Should have more than enough hatchets. Go ahead and take them down. Should have more than enough pistol drizzle to take these folks down to. Unfortunately, unless I am blind and or my squirrel goldfish memory is kicked in already. I don't know how squirrel memory is, but goldfish memory is supposedly not good. Uh, what's your call? If there are any goldfish watching, I, I apologize for talking down on you, right? But uh, no, like maybe there were spikes and I just completely forgot about them. You know what though? I'm, I'm happy to, ooh, I'm happy to grab some of that stuff. I'm happy to shoot zombies here and there a little bit because shooting zombies is always a fun time so i don't mind doing it a little bit more we also got a lot of bit more shooting coming over here because there are a lot of zombies trying to take us down at once and there goes my shirt my pants will probably soon follow and i am more naked than i signed up for these pants are nice but it is getting cold anything good in here any, any clothes by chance i have kind of uh seem to have run into a shortage of those no well all right here's the thing in terms of the noise that we're making i do believe Ooh, i'll take some of that thank you um i do believe that there are gonna be some zombies coming when they break that last chest so i'm just gonna grab whatever i might want out of here and uh whenever we break that last chest i will just be prepared to run for the hills because maybe it's not gonna be the chest that we want or i guess there is still this chest down here that i want to break into 
So let's go ahead and break into that. Is this going to summon the Wrath of the Zombies already? Or are we still chill? We still chilling, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll grab some duct tape, man. I'll always love a little bit of duct tape, you know? Nails, too, are always a pretty solid uh, thing to grab. Again, I don't need... All these resources here are good. If you're raiding and you don't have an abundance of these resources, definitely consider grabbing them. But for me, my base is pretty chock full of a lot of these things. And so I'm not... I'm just not going to bother with some of them. Um, but hopefully this last chest makes me reconsider... And I do bother with some of them, and I get something really cool. That, that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, I'm just running for the hills and getting that guy to report all the zombies. Yo! Okay! We're going to battle! We're going to battle! Hold up, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, nah, man. I'm not, I, 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 I don't want to be getting hit by all these guys because I am way more naked. Oh, no, 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 no! I've made a mistake! Ooh, I'm naked in this! I forgot to silence this thing! Luckily... This shouldn't make too much noise. But mistakes have been made. This is why you always double check your weapons, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure they're actually silenced. Don't do what I did. I made a boo-boo. If you can't tell, this gun's a lot louder. And this thing is slowly moving up, luckily. I don't gotta break any more chests. And I got a lot of room to run. And I got some nicely defined legs. So I can run for days, baby. I can run for days. And just a few more bullets for each of you. And sayonara. See you later. Okie dokie. Yeah, I did that last chest. I, I was... I, I'm gonna be completely honest, man. I was not expecting that. And it threw me for a loop. And I was just way too naked for that to happen. Uh, so, hold up. I, like... Whew. Breather. I gotta take a breather. And, uh, I definitely want to grab that. I put... I, I grabbed that in my hand. Um... Uh, what, what do I want to... Like, I definitely want to grab this oak over here. That's pretty... That's pretty, that's pretty nifty. You know what I can do? This, ladies and gentlemen... It's why we bring the chopper. Get to the chopper! No! Right? It always spawns in over here at the bottom. And inside of the back of it, you pretty much got a mobile chest. And you know what? You always want to put your most valuable things if you're on a raid that the raiders sent you on, not a revenge one. Always want to put your most valuable things in the back because whatever you put in the back, you're kind of like smuggling back home. The raiders don't really know what you loot if it's in the back of here. So whatever you bring in the back the raiders won't care about which means they'll think you brought home less loot which means they will ask for less as their kind of cut as their tax as their share of the loot so long story short if you get the chopper built yeah definitely want to go and do that definitely want to go and grab these things thank you very kindly and i'm definitely feeling pretty good about how this went i'll grab some water too man uh watch my maybe guys some of that grab some wood while we're at it a little bit of wood always good and uh, or actually, I'll grab some paint, man. I always do like some paint too, especially because I plan on painting up some more choppers here in the not too distant future. But there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do have it. A bit of a raid that went a little bit more in our favor. Definitely nicer than the first one. I mean, first one wasn't bad, but listen, man, we got a VSS, we got a minigun out of this one. I'm feeling pretty good about some of that stuff because those are, I mean, VSS is a great wall around weapon. Raids are actually one of the better ways to get your hands on VSSs compared to other methods. And also, not gonna lie, Minigun, very useful in some circumstances. Not all circumstances, because you're ridiculously slow when you have it sometimes, but in the right circumstances, it can mow down some enemies. Easy peasy. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start breaking down to this episode of Last Day on Earth. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.